All right, I've been walking through these crazy pine barrens for a while. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that there are elk herds. It's one of the few elk herds west or east of the Mississippi. And they, like, are there in this area. They wander around and people come up here and they win some kind of a hunting lottery and they get to hunt the elk once a year. So if you've never seen an elk, it's gigantic. And, you know, it's probably a better thing if I don't run into one given that it's the spring. Although it's a bit late now. Like, I think their mating season might be, or not their mating season, but, you know, the, because the mating season, I believe, is in the fall. But they're still pretty rowdy in the spring, right? So, like, it's not a good idea to encounter any of these animals in the early spring or, like, the mid to late fall. You don't want to encounter, like, even deer will attack you. Like, there's been a couple of people I know who have been chased up on their cars by deer, been chased by deer. Turkeys will even go after you. So an elk, again, if you've never seen, it, seen an elk, it's gigantic. Like, it's a 1,200 plus pound animal. And it's huge. And its rack is like, you're not going to get away from it unless you're really fucking lucky and careful. If it's pissed. I'd like to see an elk. It'd be worth the risk to see an elk for sure. But I would approach it with care and I would give every indication to it that I was its friend and I was not interested in messing with it. Usually if you do that with animals they'll leave you alone. Another good trick is to pretend like you're eating like the branches and shit. Like if, if you see them like nibbling at the ground or something like, pick something up off the ground and pretend to eat it. Pick at some plants. Because then it thinks that you're just there to graze, like it is. That trick actually saved me with a mountain goat one time. In, a, in the Badlands. I was walking along a cliff and I encountered a couple of mountain goats. One of which was a male, the other one was a female. And it was a pretty, kind of a sketchy, sketchy situation because the path was narrow. And the goat started acting aggressive. And I realized there was no way I was going to get away from it. So I just kind of sat down. Kind of hunched down. And just started picking at grass and chewing at it. And they just kind of left me alone. They were about like, I don't know, 20 or 30 yards away. They could have covered that distance in absolutely no time. So there's some more advice for you. Another thing is, is these pine barrens, once you get deep into them, the mosquitoes and the bugs are reduced. They don't like the, the pine and the citronella or whatever comes out of these pine needles. So it keeps them off to a degree, like when you walk, first walk in there, you'll take a cloud of them with you, but eventually they'll taper off. Like when I first got here, like into the pine barrens, I was getting swarmed. Now it's not as bad, by any means. There's still a few of them buzzing around me, but it's not nearly as bad. Another trick is I would bring a cigarette with me, or I'll buy a pack of cigarettes, or um, like those smokable cigars, and like bring one with you. And even if you don't smoke, just like, you know, puff on it and blow the smoke out around you a bit. If they get too bad, they'll start to leave you alone. I refuse to use like off or any of those chemicals unless it's really, there's times where I've used them. Don't get me wrong, but I try to avoid them at all costs. I will puff on a cigarette before I breathe a cloud of that shit in. So that's what I'm doing now. I've actually been pretty lucky. The bugs haven't been that bad. So I'm going to continue on through these pine barrens. I don't see that there's any hope of me making it to these sinkholes. But I'll go back as far as I can. Give it another hour plus in this direction. And then I'll start heading back the other way. 
Good luck. Good luck. Maybe we'll see an elk. Good luck. Good luck. Maybe we'll see a bear.